Okay. This is our Pelton wheel. Um, it was invented by a guy named Lester Pelton in 1878 in Camptonville, just down Highway 49. So if you came up that way, you went right through his hometown. Um, basically, Pelton made out like a bandit when he invented this. This is um, one of the more efficient water wheels in existence. Um, a Pelton wheel like this one has about 87.5% efficiency. For a mechanical device, that is exceptionally high. Um, the reason it's so good is for there's two basic reasons. One, if you notice, it's actually an undershot water wheel. If you come up and see, the water is actually coming out from the bottom. If you think about a traditional water wheel where the water is coming in from the top, when it lands in those buckets, then the buckets get, well not only does it splash, the buckets then have to get carried all the way around. That creates a lot of friction. So one of the interesting things here is that it's an undershot water wheel. Water's coming from the bottom. But the real development that Pelton is known for, he changed the design of the cup. If you see the cup here, you notice there's actually this ridge down the center. As the water gets shot out at the water wheel, it hits this ridge here and splashes out to the side. That's important for a couple reasons. One, the water does not come back at the water source. That would be bad. But second, it also doesn't come back at the next cup that's coming down. That would slow things up. And also, when the water hits here, almost all the force is then used to push the, the uh, cup through, not to bounce back. So he's using almost all the force of the water to be pushing this around. This particular one, if you notice, it has this wheel here. This is used to run all the pneumatic drills in the mine. You see there's a belt there. This one wraps around here, and you see the air compressor, that big cylinder behind you. This would be running all that. We have another pelt wheel that you get to see a little bit later in the stamp mill that ran four levels of equipment. Um, this particular one is 45 horsepower. Um, it's run by our spring, which is about 300 feet up the hill. Um, so it's under 300 feet of head, about 120 PSI. Um, we're not doing, we're not pressurizing it, we're not playing any tricks, it's just coming down in a pipe then coming out here. I'm going to turn on so you can see it. So I wouldn't be standing right there. It does spray a little bit. You're going to let water in? Is that the... Yep. Okay. So basically, I'm now opening the valve. Oh, to the spring above. Yeah. Because right now it's just spinning free. 